So welcome back to another video on Math Olympiad Geometry. We are discussing the brokered point. If you have not watched the first video, I strongly encourage you to go back to our channel and watch the part 1. So in this particular video, we will show that the triple of circles pass through a single point pass through one point so what did, what does that mean well we let me draw the three circles again the first circle is ka which passes through the point a and is tangent to BC at the point B. So that's the circle KA. Let's call it KA. The second circle is KB, which passes through the point B and is tangent to AC at the point C. So it's like this. I just should sort of draw the tangency points so that you can see what's going on. And the third circle will be passing through the point C and it will be tangent to B A at the point A. So I can probably draw this bit a little bit. And I will draw this portion of this green circle. Okay. So I'm just drawing the third one in the dotted line. Now, what I would like to show is that this green circle passes through the intersection point of the other two circles. And this one would be the brokered point. So to do that, uh, let me just first join A to this point. Let's call this point Omega. Let's call this point Omega. B to Omega. And C to Omega. Okay. Now, I would like you to look at this particular circle. And this particular chord and this tangent line. It's very important that you are able to see, you are able to see parts of the picture in isolation. This is a very important tactic in solving Olympiad level geometry problems or in fact any problem. I'll write it down. Here is a tactic. See part of the problem or picture in isolation. Okay? In isolation. So at that point of time, you are just seeing that particular part and nothing else. Okay. So, let's come back. I want you to see, I want you to see this circle that I'm drawing. This chord. So, notice that this is a chord of the circle, right? It connects two points on the circumference. And this is a tangent by definition. So let me draw this picture separately. We have this circle. We have a chord like this. This is B. This is Omega. And we have this tangent line. 
which is the line BA passing through B. So this particular situation is very important, very important in geometry. This is related to something called the tangent chord theorem. I have talked about this many times in this particular channel, but I'll remind you what that this is. If you have a chord and if you have a tangent at one of the endpoints of the chord, then this angle right here, this angle is equal to any angle in the alternate segment, any angle in the alternate segment, any angle. So if you're watching this video for the first time, I would like you to write down a proof why this is true. That's a challenge. Write a proof of the tangent chord theorem in the comment section. So this angle, the angle made by the tangent, tangent to chord angle, this angle in red is equal to any angle in the other side. So if I draw an angle like this, for example, let's draw it in green. Then this green angle will be equal to this red angle. That's the tangent chord theorem. So we will be directly using it in this, in this particular scenario. But just, we have, we have to look at this very carefully. This is the chord. This is the tangent. So this angle is equal to this angle. Right? So let me draw these two angles in black. This angle. This is the angle made by, with the, by the chord with the tangent line is equal to this angle which is an angle in the other side made by the chord okay now let's notice a very interesting thing we have the same configuration on this side same configuration we have this circle this is a tangent line and this is a chord Okay, so the angle made by the chord with the tangent line is equal to the angle made by the chord on the other side of the circle. So these two red angles are equal. So I'll just draw them in black. So we have a very beautiful scenario where these three angles are all equal. Okay. All right, so we are almost done. So now let's look at the green, the green circle. Suppose it does not pass through omega. Suppose it does not pass through omega. Let's suppose it passes through something like this, omega prime. So it will definitely cut the line A omega. So I'll just extend the line A omega. It will definitely cut the line A omega somewhere. Maybe it cuts above the point omega or it might cut below the point omega. That's also possible, right? So I'll just do one case. You can do the other one. Suppose this green circle, this green circle cuts above the point omega. Let's say this is the omega one, this point. It cuts the line A omega at a point above the point omega. Okay. So the omega is this point, right? The intersection point of the other two circles. So I'll just write it below. So what I'm going to do is I will be joining omega one 
with C. Okay? So what do we have? Well, we have this green circle and this particular chord is a chord and this is a tangent to the green circle, right? So the angle made by the tangent and chord, this, this angle, which was the black angle, this black angle, is now equal to the angle made by the chord in the other side of the green circle. So now we have this angle. Let's draw it in two black bars. These two black bars becomes equal, this particular angle becomes equal to this particular black angle. Okay, so that is a contradiction because this two bar angle is smaller, the two bar angle is smaller than this particular black angle, right? So we have a contradiction, it's generally denoted like this, like there are two front facing arrows, which means a contradiction. Which means omega 1 must be equal to omega. It cannot be above. And similarly, you can show it cannot be below omega as well. So all of these three circles must pass through a single point. And that point, my friend, is known as the brokered point. Or at least one of the brokered points. If you look into the previous video, you will notice that there are two brokered points. And you can show that the other triple of circles also pass through the same point using the same strategy. I hope you like this video. If you are interested in mathematical Olympiad related videos and ISI CMI entrance or physics related videos, you can stay subscribed to our channel. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.